62.5% of all Adidas to Jim Guy mosquitoes packed. Yet, when those neighbors were approached, they said nobody's ever talked to them. So, and our director had no cognizance of the numbers. Okay, then you do this. The rest of the team here. No, okay. No. I've got to complete this. You're going to hear it all. There is no public health component planned for the GM experience. This is the result and begs the question of why not. Alcohol pickets are now entrenched in the keys. It was another mosquito that had the cell that successfully beat back because of the number of inspectors we had. And that was the day on the 12th. In the past two years, we had two workers severely injured in mosquito control. There was no anecdote uh, or antidote whatsoever for these people. It was expected that emergency crews would show up with it. Irresponsible, negligent. Recently, uh, Director Doyle met with the superintendent of schools. Amidst reports from parents that spraying was occurring over the schools while students were in attendance, we are requesting the minutes of those meetings currently. The state has issued an advisory notice that the Fort Keys Mosquito Control District is in violation of Chapter 388 of the Four Statutes and Rules, Chapter 5 13 for spraying chemicals over homes that use cisterns for potable water. This was issued on May 4th. That letter is in your package. And right now, that is still contended. There is significant liability for this board and our mosquito control district because of this irresponsible behavior. It goes hand in hand with the comments from the superintendent of schools. That's why we're meeting with the director door. In the same regard, I'd like to read Dr. Patrick Rice's input on the use of that back of that and what it means to our environment. Last page of this. Although Vectovac GS is a common insecticide used for mosquito control, the material data safety sheet specifically prohibits it in application in finished drinking water with reservoirs or drinking water receptacles when the water is intended for human consumption. In addition, the NSDS suggested vector back GS as a lethal concentration LC50 for fish at greater than 350 milligrams per liter and aquatic invertebrates at greater than 50 milligrams per liter. This concerning, this concerning given one application rates reported by the Florida Department of Agriculture suggest approximately 100 granules per square foot, approximately 1,076 per square meter. The conversion of uh, the Conversion reported by the manufacturer of Vectovac uh, indicates that 450 granules is a gram. The sensitive marine environment of Florida Keys, uh, and the sensitive environment of Florida Keys, therefore, in addition to being uh, the potential negative impacts on humans while exposed to drinking water, the potential also exists to harm marine life depending upon the volume of water the Vectovac is applied at the rates indicated in the bottom. This is your doing. You are responsible or irresponsible in this case. We have provided the benefit of the doubt in behalf of this mosquito control district uh, and its board for years. But there's no longer any doubt that the board has diverged from its responsibilities to protect our community. This has caused the people of our community to question the board's intent. You have lost the trust of the people. Yet, it is through that trust that you are empowered. It is for all these reasons that we ask for the immediate resignation of Phil Whitman, Joe Crane Gage, and the termination of Michael Boyle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.